Hey everybody, I'm making a video on something that I've been meaning to test for a very long time, but just one of those things, you know, some things you just don't get around to. And I got around to it not on purpose. When I was doing my review for the Anycubic Photon M3, uh, I placed the printer on a table like the one I'm at now, but it had the Epax E10 8K, which is a pretty big, heavy printer in the middle. And this being not the highest quality tables, uh, I think it was causing the table to bow a little bit. So when I put my M3 down over here, it was, it was on a noticeable tilt. And I really noticed when I poured the resin in and it was touching one part of like the max fill line, the other part, the resin was way below it. So it was really tilted. And I could see uh, one side of the vat, the resin was way higher than on the other side of the vat. And I thought, oh, I, I either have to move it or I'll put something under the legs to level the printer. And then I thought, you know what? This is something I've been meaning to test because I have seen various articles and, and 3D printing experts saying different things. Some people say uh, 3D printer, as long as your plate is leveled properly, if the printer's tilted, it won't matter. Other people say that if your printer isn't totally leveled, it might affect the way the resin moves in there. It might, the, 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 the gravity uh, on, the, on the print won't be straight down. It'll be at a slight angle. It could affect the print. So I couldn't find, I actually, you know, use some Google Foo, and I couldn't find a consensus on whether your printer needed to be level or not. Personally, from all the printing I've done, after I looked around at all my various printers, which are all on various tables like this, I realized a bunch of my printers are not quite level, but not too bad. And I've never noticed any issues printing on any of them. But this particular M3, which I'll show a picture now so you can see it's that it's, it's pretty tilted. Um, I thought this one's tilted enough. Let me test this because I could see, all right, in one camp, I could understand. And my initial thought is uh, printer being tilted. As long as you've leveled your printer properly, meaning the, the, the build plate to the printer, it should print fine even on an angle. The other part of me though says, well, if the angle is steep enough or the print is long enough, that slight change in angle on the gravity, because the gravity is going to be going this way. And if your model is tilted, it's going to be pulling instead of straight down. I thought that possibly could have some minor impact. So I thought, let me, you know, instead of leveling the printer, I decided to just print with it cockeyed and see what happened. And what I got was I did uh, four separate prints. I only have three of them in front of me because one was just the same model. I just did it again at a different resolution. Uh, it seemed to not only my naked eye, but even with my nerd glasses on, and then you'll see in the in the uh, close-up high-res photos, it doesn't seem to have had any impact at all. And kind of what I was expecting was that on, especially on things I print like small minis, that it would have a negligible, if it had any impact, it'd be something so small, you know, you wouldn't be able to see it. And, and these prints came out absolutely perfect, despite the printer being at a cockeyed angle. And, and the prints are flawless. Uh, I, you know, if there's some difference between that and it being flat, it would have to be something that's so small as to be basically imperceptible to my senses, even with, I think this is a six time magnifier on it. And I just glued her hand and it's not dry yet, so I shouldn't wiggle it. But like she came out, and this, this, this printer I use, the, the Anycubic M3, it's about a 30 micron resolution. And she just, look at the picture. She came out fantastic. All the details are there. I mean, if there's anything wrong with it being cockeyed, you can't, no way in hell to detect it. So that's it. I just wanted to make a quick video. I, like I said, I did four prints uh, with a totally slanted printer and uh, came out perfect. Do I need to test if I go like a 45 degree angle or something extreme? No, because I don't think any of you are printing with your you know, with your printer on a ramp. But this answers the question, at least in my mind, that if you have, like I have tables like these that are not flat and your printer is not quite flat, don't sweat it. You, like I said, I know a lot of experts say you have to level the printer as well as level the bed. I 100% disagree. Like I said, if there's any impact, it is so small that I can't see it with the nerd glasses on. I can't see it in super high res photos that you're seeing now also. So if it's imperceptible, it doesn't matter. And I've also seen some people, you know, postulate that it could cause failures. I'm not sure why that would be, but it could cause failures because of the angle. 
um, like I said, all my printers now that I look closely, they're all on some kind of angle because of the tables I'm using. And I get basically no fails uh, once I, especially if I'm using a, a resin I know, unless I'm, so basically let me put it this way, these days, unless I'm using a new resin that I don't have settings for, I don't even get failures. So these slight angles all my printers are on obviously cannot be having any real impact. And, and I get gorgeous prints all the time. So again, I'm gonna go not out on a limb, but, and again, it's only my opinion. I guess there's no true science behind, besides my own thousands of prints of anecdotal evidence. But I will go out there and say, you do not need to level your entire printer. As long as your bed level is good, you are fine with your printer being slightly off kilter. It may bother you aesthetically to see resin pooled higher on one side of the vat than the other. And yes, if you fill all the way up to a max fill line, your printers tilt it. When your plate goes in, it could overflow. Maybe that's the only downside to it. But I don't think you have to worry uh, about or be anal about leveling your the printer itself. So that's it. Quick hit video on something that I've literally I've been meaning to do this for like two years. And and thankfully I put my printer in a spot that was pretty tilted on the table. Led me to being able to uh, finally do this video. So thanks. Happy 3D printing.